Hi, I'm Marcus Hurst with Daily Racing Form, coming to you with the Colonial Downs play of the day for Saturday, August 10th, 2019. Colonial is starting uh, me for the first time in six years. Thursday was the opening day. Still trying to get a, a handle on the form here because horses are coming from all over the place. Um, there are a number of Virginia bred slash sired stakes on this card, including race nine. The Nellie May Cox, which is the subject of this play, um, also a play for DRF weekend game plan, so I'm going to be doubling up here, just how much I like this horse. But I don't know how to pronounce her name. My uh, Gaelic is not good. Finbar, Fonbar, Finbar, F I O N N B H A R R, number nine. Uh, the dam's name is M Bar, it's obviously a play on that. And uh, the dam herself is part of the reason that uh, this horse caught my eye. Well, first of all, I liked her form generally, but then in doing a little research, it's the first foal to race from this dam, who very interestingly um, had the same pattern, basically, this horse does coming into this one-mile, two-turn race. I'm sorry, it's a one-turn mile. Um, in any case, she, she um, didn't really even finish her debut, the dam, but then she ran three sprints on turf and stretched out to a mile in a Virginia bred slash sired race and won that race at Colonial Downs. That is exactly what Finbar is doing here. Um, and I think all of her races have been between decent and good. Her first start uh, looked like she was a little rusty, uh, got into it kind of late going five furlongs. I think that was too short for her um, and finished decently there. Came back at six furlongs at Laurel and really finished, I thought, with good energy despite not even not getting a high speed figure. Um, she was really going well when she got into the clear across the wire, going away almost three lengths in front in a 10 horse field and showed um, owner, breeder, trainer, Susan Cooney enough that she stepped this horse up into an open three-year-old Philly restricted $100,000 turf sprint stakes. That was on July 14th at Laurel, the day when the turf course was strongly biased toward front runners. Um, in that race, in particular, the rail-drawn horse named Karama went to the front, opened a big lead, and never came close to coming back to the field. In fact, this filly was the only one actually making up much ground in the stretch at all. She closed, I thought, very solidly considering the conditions, um, and I really liked the way she finished in that race in and of itself and vis-a-vis -vis stretching out to a mile here. Uh, she's come back with a work. I think she's been pointed to this race for a while as a Virginia bred Um she ought to be able to keep up decently, stretching out that extra two and a half furlongs. And I don't see a lot here that she has to fear. She's seven to two on the line. I think that would be a fair price. And hopefully, hopefully she can come through as the Colonial Downs play of the day for August 10th.